welcome to Skatat Plays. I'm so glad you could join us today, or join me today, rather, I guess. It's just me alone here, but uh, I decided that I wanted to make this uh, Clash of Clans channel uh, just because I really like the capability of being able to share what I do. Uh, not that what I do is special, but it's always fun to see what other people are doing in the game. Uh, one of my favorites to watch is Molt. Uh, hopefully he'll get to watch some of my videos someday, but we'll see. Probably not. Um, some of my goals on my channel are to uh, maybe show off some raids, show off how my base is coming along, um, what I'm doing in it, and uh, just things that are of general nature to people who play Clash of Clans, or general interest, not general nature. But um, <clears throat> as you can see, I'm uh, just a recent... Uh, level up to, to level 92, um, I can't believe I'm already up that high. I started playing Clash of Clans in, uh, I believe it's April of 2014, and now it's June of 2015, so over a year now, and I'm uh, Town Hall 9 and just loving this game. I like real-time strategies and role-playing games and things like that, and so um, this one kind of fits right along with it. Um, I just, I, I love this game, and it's something that has really caught my style. Now as you can see, uh, I have a farming base and that's been my history pretty much throughout my time with Clash of Clans is I just like to farm. I like getting resources through raids and um, especially using a barge army as you can see. Um, my armies are basically just barge. I use um, usually between 8 to 12 wall breakers and then uh, the majority barbarians and um, and some archers as well to a, a good degree um, and then thankfully since I just became a level or Town Hall 9 uh, two weeks ago maybe I get the Archer Queen. Now she's only up to level 3 right now but she's still a lot of fun to use. Uh, she has sweeped up some battles for me as we'll see and uh, she is just an all-around great hero. I also love my Barbarian King, he's level 10 now. I maxed him out at Town Hall 8, and then uh, I haven't touched him since because I've been focusing on the Archer Queen, but uh, he's been a lot of fun too. <clears throat> so I love using a barge army and, and farming, and uh, if you can tell by my base also, I like symmetrical, well-laid-out bases. Uh, there's just something about my personality that that is what I like, so I, I try to keep them that way. Um, I've got some others here too as well that are uh, pretty symmetrical as well. You can want to check those out. See, pretty symmetrical. Um, this one has a lot of funneling and traps and all of that stuff. It was fun to use for a little bit, but I found that the uh, one I was currently using uh, was great for defense. A lot of people will uh, bypass me or they'll just snipe my town hall and, and leave, which is fine with me as a farmer. So, my, another goal of my channel is, um, since I have predominantly been a Barch Raider, my skills as far as clan wars and just general raiding with other army compositions is lacking. I tried to go wipe a few uh, days ago, and it did not turn out well. I accidentally dropped my golem where I did not mean to, and didn't win any trophies, didn't get any loot, it was horrendous. So, uh, maybe you all can help me develop my strategies and skills, especially for clan wars. Um, I am in a family clan, I've got lots of family members in this clan, and you can see we have won 19 wars, uh, but our, our clan level is not very high, not because we've lost a lot, but because a lot of those wars were won before the, the clan upgrade system was in place. So uh, I want to be more effective in war uh, so we can help our clan out. And I want to be able to uh, raid really well as we get into Town Hall 9 further on and Town Hall 10. Uh, I'd especially love to learn the Lunian and Lava Lunian attacks, things like that. So if you can offer some strategies, then make sure you add that in the comments. That would help me out a great deal. Um, so for now, I, I just want to show one raid that I did that got some uh, okay loot. It wasn't that great, but it, it was good. And then also show you a danger of what can happen if you are looking for loot too fast. 
So we'll go ahead and take a look at that. So what I want to do now is I want to show you some, or at least one of my attacks here, uh, that ended up with pretty good loot. It was pretty nice. I got over a hundred thousand of each resource, gold and elixir. You can see this was a dead base. The pumps and mines were full, so I just sent in my army to, to go around the base, collect as much of the loot as possible, and hopefully I can escape here with at least 50% so that I can keep building up my trophies. I want to push up to crystal, and it's just taken me a while because, well, it's a lot of trophies. So pretty much got it all. Send in the Archer Queen to sweep up the rest, get that 50% down there on that uh, Dark Elixir drill. She's going to get it. And boom, I get the 50% and some decent loot. Not bad, not bad. So let's go ahead and do another raid. I want to find some more loot or at least find a town hall I can snipe. And as you can see, this first one had good loot, but the town hall wasn't so easy to get, nor was the loot. So I end up passing and passing on the next one and then. I see it, but oops, I've already pushed the next button. 200,000 of each that were in the mines and pumps, so easy to get, and I bypassed it. So now I've got to spend the rest of my time either trying to find the same thing or a town hall I can snipe. So all of these have pretty well guarded town halls and well guarded loot that's not easy to get on the perimeter of the base or on the first layer of the base. So I've got to find what's available. There was great loot there, but it was all well protected. So I move on, keep going, until finally I see good loot, but an unguarded town hall. So I'll just send in my heroes, take out the town hall, and an easy star, easy trophies, not bad. So a valuable lesson learned right there. Go slow when skipping through your raids because you can miss out on easy loot just like I did. So go slow, take your time, look at all of the variables that you're looking for so that you can find that perfect base. I think the reason I skipped, skipped it real quick is because the town hall was guarded and I couldn't easily get it without looking at the amount of loot I could get until it was too late. So I missed out on those 200,000 plus on each resource and hey, I'll chalk it up as a lesson learned and try to do better next time. But uh, I want to thank you very much for watching my channel, for watching this episode, this video, and uh, it's been a great time and I hope you, that you'll come back. I want you to, to, to like the video if you liked it, to comment on it if you've got something to say and, and add to the conversation and also subscribe to the channel for more content coming up. I, I want to try to put out a lot. Uh, but we'll see. Um, hopefully you'll keep coming back. Uh, in the meantime, be good, do good, goodbye.